Fuck, he's got a hard head. Anyways. Hey, talk, talk us through it. What, how, how did you feel in there? Uh, I felt a bit sluggish at first. He came out firing and um, I knew he was very open, so I, I knew I'd catch him in between those exchanges, but I've got to learn to um, be first sometimes, I think. And um, There we go. And... um. Yeah, just I, I learned a lot from tonight more than any other fight. So hats off to Danvers and um, he's done. Ben, step the fuck up, brother. You're next. Let's go. You want to talk some shit? Disrespect my team and and they, no, you're not going to get away with it. So um, get out of retirement. I'll meet you at Waterway if you want. It looked like after the fight there was some words between Jeff and Ben and then and then yourself and Ben. What was that about? Well, look, there's um between Jeff, between Jeff and Ben, there's three world titles and Jeff's won all of them. So Ben's got no ground to stand on in terms of achievement or anything like that. And um. I think sometimes like, I looked at Danvers, he was a bit pissed off when Ben was taking a spotlight from him. So I feel like Ben's a bit upset that he's on this side of the ring and not inside. But um, that's his choice. So he's trying to live through Danvers. And um, no disrespect to, to anybody, but um, I'm here. I'm the king of the division. No one can come and try and take that away from me. What were you saying to Ben after the fight? I said, look, thanks. Danvers is done and you're next. That's all. Step up. Did that sort of motivate you this week, all that shit talk earlier on? Look, it adds to the fire, but... Since the second I signed the contract to fight, um, Danvers was my priority. And um, by all means necessary, I was going to come out and, and win. So um, I feel like I did that, I dictated the pace. And um, he's dangerous, but um, he's got a lot to learn on, and so do I. So um, hey, if he um, earns his stripes, he can do it again. Uh, I knew he was a tough boy. For me, um, there's a lot more I think I could do. And we went over game plans and stuff with Jeff. And, um, I did what we were learning on in the gym, but there's a lot more for me to show, and I believe um, you'll see that more and more. You know, I've only fought twice this year, and I want to back it up on the December show. A lot of cameras here, a lot of interest in you now. Um, how excited are you to sort of be a, a name in Australian boxing moving forward? Look, for me, um, no disrespect to anybody on that card, but I was in the prelims. I feel like I've probably put the fight of the night on, so um, if this was UFC, I'd probably get a 50J bonus, I think, but... Um, it's not so back to the drawing board and back to the gym and, and I'm going to work hard towards uh, the next one. What is next? Uh, whoever they want. I'm, uh, I'm looking to, uh, look, I won the Australian title. We gave it up uh, to fight for a regional belt. A guy named Jake Wiley called me out and um, I released the belt because I had a mandatory. So I said, we'll fight for a youthful title now. He pulled out, he's busy fighting 40 year olds. So um, hey, I'm the best super lightweight in the country and everyone wants to challenge that, come and step up. It's not my baby. <laughs> I wish it was, but um, I love him like he's my he's my my family. So um, this is my best mate, my sponsor's son, Budgie, and um, he's with me throughout everything. Yeah. My bad days, my good days, everything. So um, I was start getting emotional for keep talking, but I uh, love him, love my family and my friends. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna stop making me cry after every fight. Yeah. Thanks.